Hello and welcome to Speed Kick. We're here with Federico Pavlovic, a very busy Italian drummer. Yo! <laughs> so, can you tell us about your current involvements in the music business in Italy and what kind of projects do you play currently? Yes, and um, my main project at the moment is my band, it's called Death Rage. And um, we have an album coming out, worldwide distribution, like on 3 and 4 March with Metal Blade Records which is a you know famous metal yeah. label and uh, we are actually working on the new set list for the tour like we are rehearsing the new songs and stuff like that and some video clips and lyrics video are coming out in the next month so we can get like prepare for the big you know uh, release of the album can you already tell us some tour dates uh, we haven't you know said that yet so we are still waiting to understand which tour fits most our, you know, uh, our style of music, which is kind of really particular. So it, it depends on what booking agreement we get. So yeah. we have to wait. So we we still have to wait. Okay. Yeah. But you're not only involved in the heavy rock and metal scene. You uh, also played a variety of shows. Uh, you, for example, in 2008, you played with. Uh, Italian Saturday Night Live band? Yes, yes, of course. It was actually it was a really great experience for me. Like you were live broadcast. It was it wasn't registered. Like you have to play and if you like do mistakes everybody on TV was yeah. seeing it. So I was I was twenty three at the time and was Which is very unusual to play uh, such a gig at a very young age. Pretty I awesome. did actually did the audition, one of the few that really went on at yeah. the time because you know in this kind of scene you have to know people yeah. over there. I did the audition, it went pretty good so I got the opportunity to, to be in the band and um, it was really a great experience for me like to keep calm and do things at the right moment because you have to, to always look at the director yeah. which is involved in the sketches like the comedian uh, are acting and the and the director counts you three four and then you start playing in the right moment so and you are broadcasting that moment so it's really stressful in the beginning but after a few shows like three or four shows I get really more comfortable in that and I have a lot of fun with the guys which were really cool and the band also was really 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 good band like great musicians so I'm really proud of that yeah and you continued in 2011 playing a tour with X Factor winner uh, Loredana Errore. Yeah, Loredana Errore is a, a Italian pop singer, and we did this summer tour. We did pretty much a good amount of dates, and this was my first like high profile level pop gigs. It was kind of cool to me, like arriving on place and find everything like set up and uh, <laughs> just to do the sound check, do, yeah. go to have dinner, then make the, the show. And then, on the main thing. Yeah, exactly. It was really cool. The, the, the backliners were really super nice guy. Never had a technical problem, apart from one time which we like had super rain in like in ten minutes. The all the rain in Sicily fall on our head. So. We had our gear kind of ruined by that, but anyway, everything was fixed, so it was a nice experience too for me, like, she's a kind of, she's a weird person though, I mean, it depends on the days, but anyway, she's cool, by the way, it's like, good experience for me, for sure. Cool, and can you tell us a little bit about uh, your opinion about uh, Italian scene, what it is like today compared to uh, back in the 80s, for example? I mean, I think uh, this this is actually for every place, like the golden age of music back in the 80s and the 90s, where everybody who actually can play really could do a uh, musician as a job. Yeah. Right now, I think it's so much more difficult than back then, because you, uh, first thing, you have to go a good player. You have to, do, uh, you have to be a good player. And after that, you must be the best like promoter of yourself uh, graphic designer you have to keep up your website communication interact with people uh, you have to do much more than like 20 years ago yeah. and you get back like the half 
of yeah. what they got back back in the days because competition level right now is so high there's a lot of people there's a lot of great musicians aiming for you know that kind of gigs and also the gigs are less less than, than, than back in the day so it's kind of difficult to, to, to live by doing musician and what I have to say for me personally that I see uh, I feel kind of like stuck in the middle of two different categories like uh, I feel like I, I just arrived and the party is over, like everybody <laughs> just finished to enjoy it. And, and at the moment I can see there are like two categories of, um, of gigs and musicians, like the super top high level gigs uh, which are hold and played by the, those few famous musicians over here. And then there are these um, singers which are just, you know, came out from the TV talent shows and production usually prefer to call like super young kids and pay them like super little yeah. money and I wouldn't I wouldn't do that if I get called from that so I can I can feel like stuck in the middle of these two categories trying to survive doing my things so at the moment I prefer to concentrate on my musical project as my band and teaching and clinics, stuff like that, so that's pretty much it. Talking about clinics, you did a clinic tour last year w together with Chris Coleman, who we did an interview with uh, recently on Speed Kick. Can you tell us a little bit about uh, what it was like to be on tour with of such course, a great of drummer? Uh, I had this opportunity, like, I, I've been blessed to do this thing with Chris. I have to say, that really was the experience of, of the experience of my life like Chris is one of the most amazing persons I ever met like apart from the musician he is yeah, like he's yeah. my favorite drummer like I mean he's God it's like <laughs> he's unbelievable when he's playing and I can tell you we did like uh, 20 clinics and I haven't seen him uh, repeating something one day from the other it was completely different playing every day wow. and that's the most amazing thing about him and for me it was really a life-changing experience like uh, staying in, in contact with the person such Chris let me grow a lot by the musical and the personal point of view so I really I'm really grateful for that Chris is, is the man he's like one of my favorite of all time so I've been really lucky of, of doing that. And also the, the feedback of people was really positive about the, the, the clinics because of course playing before uh, such a monster of drums is not that easy yeah. if you're a drummer as well. So I tried to avoid of being a copy of Chris which on one side is difficult because he has been such a great inspiration for me. So I tried to to go totally on a different um, uh, different musical approach, so I could try to avoid as much as possible like comparison between the two drummers. I went in another direction. I I, I started playing completely different stuff from, from the, what he was doing, and actually people enjoyed this. Like the show was really complete. Like all the aspect of drumming were covered in, yeah. in the show, so this was a successful formula for everybody, so I'm glad it, everything went really good. Currently you're uh, taking care of Dave Illich here on his Italy clinic tour, yeah. are you going to perform uh, as well at one of his clinics? No, I'm not going to play, it was really so stref stressful to organize the, the entire thing, that if I even had to think about playing, I couldn't make it. Like. I had to concentrate on one thing per time. So okay. this is Dave's time. I'm I'm really happy. He's here. He's a good friend of mine. I know him since 2007. So uh, finally we made it. And I'm not gonna complain on this story. It's just so stressful to think all about the hotels, driving, uh, set up the things, uh, make phone calls. So I I, I don't want to get into other stuff than this this yeah. time. So. And Dave is doing great. I mean, people is going crazy for him. So yeah. I'm so happy. Everything is going good at the moment.
In Speed Kick's interview with Dave Illich, we talked about his experience as a teacher and what it's like to take lessons with him. You told me you took lessons with him too. You've known him for a while, about six years. Yeah, we actually get in touch the first time I went to LA and got the, the classical like shed session, like private shed session between yeah. us. And it's always it's always cool to, to hang out with Dave and play with him because there are a lot of moments in which we can exchange our point of view, uh, our leaks and whatever. So um, I feel like we complete each other, like because we are different in, in the style of playing. And he's a super smart guy, and I mean, I love the way he is. It's a, I'm happy to, to have the opportunity to share that kind of moments with him. So, yeah, that, that's super positive for, for me. Cool. And last but not least, can you tell uh, our audience where you, they can check out your stuff and your internet uh, appearance? Yes. Other than Speed Gig, of course. Of course. Speed Gig, uh, Harry just uh, gave me the opportunity to have my super cool page on Speed Gig. I'm really, I'm really happy about that. And I have my website, like uh, federicopaulovic.com, which isn't really updated at the moment because I, I really suck in that kind of in that kind of thing. So I have to update it with updated biography and stuff like that. And I have my Facebook personal page at the moment, not more than that. So I have my YouTube channel though, you can check out my videos which I have uploaded from 2007 until now. So you can also see how, how much I changed through the years, my, my way of playing. So that's pretty much it. Cool. Federico, thank you very much. It was nice to be with you. Thank you. Thank you, Speed Geek. <laughs> thank you, Harry.